Hey you, I'm not sure if you knew this, but Bright Line Eating is a starvation diet. It's gonna ruin your metabolism, make it impossible for you to lose weight. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I've lost 45 pounds since May doing something called Bright Line Eating, and today we're gonna go over is it a starvation diet, how many calories do I eat, and five ways to keep full. So if you're ready, come on and join me. Something that I hear going around a lot is that with Bright Line Eating, you don't get enough food. So I wanted to go through the weight loss plan and do my typical day of Bright Line Eating so that you guys can see what's really happening. I am on page 136, and this is the weight loss plan. So for breakfast, you get one protein, one breakfast grain, one fruit. For lunch, you get one protein, six ounces vegetables, a fruit, which is six ounces, and one fat. Dinner is one protein, six ounces vegetables, eight ounce salad, and one fat. Based off of this weight loss food plan, I did a typical day of eating. This is a typical day of what I would eat, and I calculated the calories for this. A typical breakfast for me would be lemon poppy seed muffins. I have the recipe on my Instagram, and I'll also post it below in the description box. They are so delicious, and that's 510 calories. My typical lunch would be like Philly cheesesteak bake with mango, and that's 476 calories. And my dinner would be like bonza chickpea pasta with butternut squash, butter and parmesan cheese, a mixed green salad with balsamic vinegar and lime as the dressing, and that comes out to 491 calories. My total calories for the whole day is 1,000 477. When I Google starvation diet, I'm not finding anything that's like super descriptive on what exactly it is, but overall it says it's less than 1,000 calories per day, and my typical Bright Line eating day is definitely not below 1,000, so I'm definitely not over here starving. If it's not a starvation diet and we're getting enough food, why do people on Bright Line eating generally lose weight so much easier and faster than other moderation diets like calorie counting, Weight Watchers, Noom, etc. I know why. It's because it's a science-backed system. So the only way that weight can lower is if your insulin is lowered. What does Bright Line Eating do? It lowers insulin in two powerful ways. The first is no snacks, so eating only three times a day. So that means your insulin is spiking just three times. Okay, that's important. Next is what we eat. We do not eat flour and sugar, which are the biggest things that are gonna spike that insulin. So no wonder we're having great success. It's what we eat, not necessarily how much we're eating. You can go look up the science behind insulin and how it affects weight set point yourself, but if you want the link to the study that was done, I'll post it below. What do you do now that you know that your meals are perfect, they're bright, they're beautiful, you're eating absolutely enough food, what do you do if you're hungry? Here, I have five ideas for you. The first thing is to realize is that at first, you are going to be hungry. You're going to be hungry between meals because your insulin is higher, okay? As your insulin goes lower and your body goes into homeostasis, that is when the hunger is gonna level off and you're gonna start feeling energetic between meals and not lethargic and hungry. My second idea to combat hunger, stop buying low-fat anything. Nothing low fat ever again. If it's cheese, it's full fat. You can have the fatty cuts of meat. You can have red meat. It's, it's fine. I don't cut back and I don't do diet food. It's not something that I have found to be helpful in my journey. If anything, um, those type of foods really make me hungrier. My third idea of how to work through the hunger is to drink one gallon of water per day. So this is 40 ounces and I shoot to drink four of these, which is around a gallon per day. And that really helps because I think it's probably common knowledge now that thirst can be mistaken as hunger. So it's very important to stay completely hydrated. My fourth idea on how to help your hunger is drinking tea between meals. So I'm totally a tea drinker. I have it all the time with me. 
but these are two of my favorite teas this is sweet and spicy this one is sweet and spicy by good earth and it's really yummy it really is sweet and spicy i really like it um and this one is tazo is that how you say it? tazo a glazed lemon loaf to me it's like kind of a sweet lemony taste it's really good this is my fifth way to nix hunger and it's actually been proven i don't know why i don't understand really but you can look it up yourself but pickle juice helps with hunger so between meals when I, especially the first week or two when i was like really hungry between meals because my body was just not adjusted yet um i would sip on pickle juice <sighs> it'll make you pucker up a little bit but yeah there's nothing wrong with sipping on a little pickle juice in my opinion between meals um i'm not sure if it's 100 percent kosher but it's just what i've done in the vlog today, Susan also talks about people who feel too full at meals and how you can split up your vegetables. So some people do a half and half split of vegetables. So they do 10 ounces at dinner, 10 ounces at lunch. So that can work if you are feeling too full. Also raw vegetables fill me up more than cooked vegetables. Some people are so used to just grazing throughout the day that the huge meals that we eat are overwhelming. When I first started Brightline eating, I found that I wanted to eat less at the meals because I wanted to graze throughout the day because that's what I was used to. And the meals did feel big to me, but then I was also hungry. So it was like kind of confusing, but I will say that if you lean into that hunger and just trust that as your insulin lowers and your body balances, um, your hunger will get better, it really will. It's just a matter of time. All you got to do is stick with it one meal at a time. How do you lose weight? One meal at a time, one day at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next one.